Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Let's Play with Wang. I'm your host, Slick Wang, and we are flying far away from our home. Why? Well, because I kind of feel like we can test out this turtle thing. I did a little poking around um, after last episode. What is this? It's just like a random square. Uh, somebody's doing something. Obsidian chest. Huh. What do we got? We're, we're making obsidian. Evidently. And saltpeter. Huh. Well, I don't know what's going on there. Um, but anyway, I did some poking around and did some Googling. Google is an amazing source of information. Um, yeah, this looks like a good place. A giant tree here. Um, I did some Googling around and I was thinking there's got to be a way to copy and paste code. Um, and there is, but there isn't. There is a way to do it if you are on a single player um, where you copy it like into one of the directories on your actual computer and then that'll be in the ROM for your turtle and, and all that. So I didn't have that option. Um, but then I noticed somebody had said something about, well, if your server is enabled for HTTP, and I thought, I have no idea. So I went ahead and tried it. So what you do, check it out. Um, I'll put a link to the forum post in the description uh, for where I'm getting these codes. Because these are not my codes. I am not good enough. I don't have enough time, etc., etc. All the other reasons I would use somebody else's stuff. But um, I, I don't want you guys to think that I'm trying to pass it off as my own because um, I'm legitimately copying pasting as you are seeing okay so one of the first things I want to do before we we throw our, our code in there we're going to go into Lua whoops oh no it worked because um, we need to fuel this little guy so let's take about eight charcoal and we'll put it right there and we are gonna go turtle dot get fuel level parentheses boom returned it says zero so we're gonna tell it turtle dot refuel and then the slot number that our fuel is in so one two three four so on and so forth boom and it did it now let's just do it again and again and again we'll just use that whole bit up make sure he's got fuel so then we say turtle dot get fuel level capitalization is very important when you're doing co computer programming and stuff 640 so that means he can move 640 blocks um, so now let's exit this all right now you can copy and paste single lines now, if you'll notice, though, if you were in, say, edit, um, like edit test, and you're in here, you notice it says press control to access menu. Well, if you press control, it pulls that up. So it makes doing control V awfully hard unless you use right control. Boom. So check that out. Um, so if you guys are trying to do the copy and paste of actual lines of code, that's how you do it. Um, now, what we do is we put in this line of code right here. Paste bin space git and then the URL bit and then the name of that program. Boom. Connecting, success, download as setup. And then we are also going to do paste bin git s z l lowercase n g v c u and we are going to call that mine beautiful all right so we now have these programs called setup and called mine and he has fuel so now all we need to do is tell it setup fill slot 16 with torches 
Um, actually, real quick, I forgot. We need to check our Y. We are at Y64. So slot 16 with torches. Slot 16. Slot 15 with one or two chests. Let's do two. Slot 14 with one redstone torch. Boom. Okay, there we go. Input current Y position. That is, oh, number pad doesn't work. Maybe it does, it's just really slow. Boom. And um, I would like for you to go down to Y12. Would you like to refuel? Nah. There he goes. And now, there's nothing left to do but hang out and drink our coffee. I need to go to the store. I'm out of coffee. So, I'll be back with you once this guy's done doing what he do. Alright, guys. Um, so, let him just do his thing real quick. Um, and he took us right down to Y12. Um, so, he's he's golden. Um, and what he does to say that he's done is he sets this little redstone torch right here. And that's basically his little way of like, yep, this is my starting point. I know where I am. I am good. Um, and I went ahead and I brought our thermal expansion strong box, so that way we can uh, we can actually bring our stuff. Okay, so this is the setup program. This is what he's done. Um, he just dug a straight mine shaft all the way down, and I just followed behind him and poked around in a couple caves, found a few things. Um, so next. It says ready to strip mine. So we put in our program which we called mine. Go. Number of shafts. Um let's do ten. Um current fuel four seventy three. Let's put some fuel right here. Yes. And there he goes. So he used up all the fuel that we put in there. And now he's just going to go. And I believe once he is full, he should come over here. Oh, he's already started to put stuff in the chest. Beautiful. This is cool, man. This is super cool. Much love to the guy that wrote this program. Absolutely incredible. Buku. Buku to you, sir. Or madam. I'm assuming, sir, I think the picture was a dude. So I'm going to let him do this, um, and I'll be back with you guys with our bounty. All right, guys. We've we've just been letting our little guy run, and oh, we've had, we had two problems. Um, uh, <laughs> this is frustrating. Um, so he's working away, and you might be like... Um, it seems to just stop right there. I'll get to that. Um, so one thing that I knew about him, okay, with this program, and I knew this and totally understand it just from the little bit of computer programming that I've done in my day. Um, this little guy doesn't know how to deal with liquid. So like, um, let's look at, was it this one? No. I think it was over here. No, maybe it was the next shaft. Um, yeah, all of this and all this water and all of this and there's some some lava over here, I believe somewhere. Um, he just plows right through it; doesn't bother him. He's just like, ah, whatever. Um, so the good thing is he doesn't die with um, lava or anything like that. Um, the only disadvantage to that you kind of have to follow him around and replaces torches otherwise you know the water washes torches away and all that fun stuff um, now you might be over here going well why did it just stop well check it out I was over here filling in from the lakes that he kept managing to find this friggin I don't know what it is about this world um, it, there's lakes and giant caves they're just everywhere um, it seems like when I've played other 
uh, I'm gonna say other mod packs, even vanilla, man. You could you could do exactly this and never hit a cave. Um, but yeah, so I'm I'm down here and I'm walling it up, and I I stood in his way and I couldn't get out of the way fast enough. So he just kind of sat there and he was just like, well, I think I'm moving, and he just sat there and then he just started spitting all of his stuff at me. Um, and then so what he thought he thought this was where the main center shaft was and just continued on um, so then here's where here's where the frustrating problem comes in and I, I don't know why this is happening we had another crash just like our crash yesterday with the the wireless redstone I mean full-on control alt delete task manager kill it reboot run like junk I don't know what's going on uh, but yeah so we we full-blown crashed and he's done he's just like gone okay toodles um, so that kinda sucked but all in all I'm gonna say I really shouldn't have done that he had a buttload of fuel in him um, I'm gonna say all in all mission success man mission success because here is what this little guy and this program was designed for. I can get some of this junk out of our inventory. Um, do we have... Yeah, we got a little bit of room. Um, once he's done, you should be able to just go along and just go down each one of these shafts and go, hmm, 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 I already did that shaft. Um, just, oh, hey, cool, some peridot. I'll take that. Uh, oh, cool, some gold. I'll take that. doop a doop -a -doo. And, and that's all there is to it. Just go along and clean them up. Um, now, on that forum post, somebody had mentioned, well, hey, how come you didn't just have him do two blocks in between the shafts? That way you don't miss anything. And really, statistically speaking, um, the odds that there's a vein of something here and it doesn't poke out this side and it doesn't poke out this side are so ridiculously small um, that the amount of ores and stuff that you're going to give up by doing it three wide versus doing it two wide and making sure you get them all not worth it uh, because it's it's extra time um, to dig oh lordy to dig all that stuff out I knew I should have had my cobblestone out um, extra time to dig all that stuff out and um, yeah it's just it's really not worth it um, so I'm gonna go through here I'm gonna finish uh, cleaning up some of this stuff um, we are definitely gonna be using this little turtle guy again I absolutely love this okay ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the house um, gonna try and knock this out fairly quickly because um, as usual, I'm running low on time. Um, let me show you guys a little something, something. Once I manage to get out of this water. Stupid water. With its flowing. Um, so, so check out what I'm doing here. I am looking for stuff. And usually... By the time I get to where I think I'm about to find it, I forget what the hell it is I'm looking for. So, what we are going to do, we are going to start, at least, um, we're going to start doing applied energistics. Now, this is really, really cool. Um, one of the first things we are going to need, uh, well, you know what, actually, first, let me explain what applied energistics is, at least as far as storage goes. Um, it basically takes all of these items and it stores them as data. I mean, basically just the same way the game does. Um, so it takes all this stuff and it stores it as data. So what you do is you create, uh, where are they? This right here, ME drive. Okay, and the ME drive holds all these little uh, disks I believe I might be wrong um, so all of your items can be stored on this little thing right here um, so we're gonna begin doing that 
Uh, so one of the first things I actually am going to do is make a bunch of this ME cable. Um, ground some of that up. What ME cable takes, this flux dust, ground nether quartz, ground certus quartz, and some redstone. Um, so we've got a little bit of that. Boom, boom, boom. Go ahead and get all that. Now, glass, glass. See? This is exactly why I want to do this so bad. Um, we are out of glass. Shoot. Um, should have planned that one a little better. Um, so here's, here's the catch. ME systems, they require power. So what I've done down below here, I'm not going to show you. Um, I put in a battery so I could splice off a line. And that line comes, where did you come from? Get out of here, you dang crazy. Jeez. Um, spliced off a line and it comes over here. And we are going to set our ME controller right there. Uh, and then what we are going to do, uh, I believe, I think this is how I want to do it. Okay, so you see how our on our dome we have these kind of two column shapes here. We're going to make those drives. It's just going to be six ME drives and our cable is going to come up through there. Um, and I think that's how I want to run this little guy. Any more bad guys? So, and you know what? I'm actually hoping that I discover something that I don't know right now. Um, I was talking to our, our friends Boo and Tara, and um, I was trying to figure out whether or not um, ME Cable moves power as well as the items and they were saying no you gotta you know set up a power source with it and then uh, um, and then you can run your cable so we're gonna see if this cable connects to power real quick because um, I, I kinda think I kinda think they may not have completely understood me so let's see can we Actually, let's just come over here, because this is where we should start. Okay, does not seem to connect to that. Um, and one thing I did also discover from talking to them, um, evidently you can't microblock around <laughs> ME cable, so it's just going to be all big and ugly. Um, so let me make up a little bit more sand, so we can have a little bit more glass. Um, and we will try and run our cable and I think the next thing we are going to need to make we should probably make um, we should probably make where is it controller this is what we want to make okay so the little little difficult nether quartz redstone certus quartz I think I should have all of that we need four of those and we need to make this little guy um, so we'll, we'll get to crafting. I'll be back with you guys. I'll show you guys what I made uh, off camera there. Um, we made our ME controller, which is the brain. You got to have a controller. And we also made an access terminal, which is, I mean, as it describes, is so you can access uh, your system. So what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to put the controller here. Okay, so she's got power and is connected. Beautiful. Uh, now the next thing we need is that access terminal. Okay, so we go in here, we go, oh, hey, cool. We got everything in here is all the stuff. Um, and this little guy tells us what all is on here. So here's how much energy is stored. Here's how much energy is used. 9.2 AE per tick. Um, not entirely sure what that translates to in RF, which is basically what we're using, uh, but it is what it is. Okay, so the next thing we want, we could actually just do an ME chest. They're a little bit cheaper, but uh, I want to just get into it. Waiting for this is just agonizing, especially when you're so excited. All right, uh, do we still have gold ingots? We do. All right, so we need one, two, one, two. This little fella, two of those and some silicone. Okay, so that makes those. 
Then we come over here, we cook you up. So two of those, we need a chest. I should have a chest somewhere. Uh, I'm just gonna take this one, nothing in it. Okay, beautiful, got you. Okay, chest, iron, glass, all right, I think we just need a little bit more sand cooked up. Uh, how many? Just the two. All right, beautiful. Okay, so we come over here and iron, 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 a chest, you and you, boom, boom. Beautiful. So now we have an ME uh, drive. Which way should I face these things? Uh, let's face it this way. Okay, so you might be thinking, hey, Wang, um, it looks like different than this. Why did you pop into my hand? Um, well, the reason for that, this is basically the drive that accepts the drives. Um, so here is what you got to make. I would love to make this little guy. That just, I mean, look how freaking crazy that is. Um, but I think... I don't know. Am I going to have time? Am I going to have time? I might have time. Okay, let me try and bang that out real fast, and we can put a drive in there and hopefully put some items in. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our storage cell. Okay. Um, later on, we'll be doing the big boys. Um, as you can see here, it says 1K storage. So basically, we have 1,024 bytes and 63 types. So you can have 63 item types on this drive. Um, and as you can see, they start getting bigger and bigger. Um, bigger and bigger, 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 bigger. Um, stores up to 128 by 128 by 128. Um, not too sure what those do. I might, I might be off on something. So we come over here and boom, pop you in. Um, yeah, I don't know what that does. So check it out. Okay, so we have a drive. We have a green light. Okay, let's come over here and let's put sticks. Oh, baby. Okay, so if we come over here, one type, nine bytes, eight sticks. So, you know, I think, I don't know if every item is just one thing, uh, one byte or not. I'm not sure. Um, so let's just start throwing stuff in this bad boy. This is so cool. Uh, iron, 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 steel, iron, um, gold, uh, torches, osmium, cobalt. So cool. Come over here. Seven types, 107 bytes. So this is going to clean us up. Big time, guys. Big time. Um, so this just is going to make our life so much better. Uh, and there's there's actually a lot of stuff this thing can do for us that I'm probably not even going to get into. Um, Direwolf20 has an awesome uh, tutorial mod spotlight on it. I think it's three parts. This thing is huge. You make like these big multi-block structures and... Um, it'll like craft all the kinds of crazy patterns and stuff for you. Just um, they're they're pretty freaking incredible. Um, so if you guys are playing along with me, uh, feel free go check that thing out. Um, I would love to see your guys' setups. That would that would be awesome. Um, but anyway, as I said, guys, uh, really all the time I have to. Day. made some good progress uh, I have some plans for some more sciencey stuff tomorrow um, and that's gonna do it for me uh, as always guys like comment subscribe that stuff really really helps out uh, grow in our channel um, and I think we're doing a great job my goal 100 subscribers by the end of the year and the only way I'm gonna do that is with your guys's help okay that's the only way I'm gonna do it and I super, super appreciate that. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't want to get off too preachy here. Uh, but, 
yeah, really, really appreciate it, guys. And uh, I have some fun stuff planned for when we do hit that milestone. So um, I will see you guys in the next episode.